Hey, this is Yoshi. Uh, today, well, tonight, whichever that is, um, I would like to report this uh, Catlia Luden Maniana, as you can see. Nice roots coming out from a new growth. So, yep. And uh, I just soaked in the water for a while, so it should come out pretty soon. But this is what you want to see. You want the new roots coming out before you uh, uh, repot cattleyas because they tend to, uh, here's a tag, they tend to uh, uh, drop the roots as soon as the repot is done. So you want this new roots to uh, go into the new media. So uh, before doing that well it's coming out already I've never uh, report this one yet so I didn't know what's in it the peanuts pretty typical uh, trying to help the uh, um, drainage on the bottom I tend not to do that just because um, this is pretty light oh and then of course I can smell the mushroom uh, that means, oh, it's got a pretty good roots though. That means the media is going out. You know, usually at this point, what, three years maybe? At least in the same pot, I think. Or same media, I would say. So, pretty understandable. I'm trying not to mess too much with the uh, roots though. I'm thinking it should come off pretty easily. If it doesn't, then it's okay. Just leave it as it is. But I'm thinking most of them come off. Yeah, and it is. Pretty easy going. Uh, Catlia's types, I should say. Catlia types likes uh, pretty fast wet and dry cycle and you know there are so many people do uh, self watering and stuff and it's always wet uh, or moist I would say and I get that it's becoming the you know um, mainstream a lot of people do that just because um, it saves time I guess and uh, so, I get people why people doing that. There's some moss on top. Kind of like it, the, how it looks, but uh, anyways. Uh, roots aren't bad, actually. I'm rather surprised how good roots are. Those are all got a substantial thing to it. See, these are, these are, um, dead so let me cut this off uh, let me uh, um, sterilize my uh, uh, what do you call it snippers scissors clippers whatever it is and I'll be right back all right so sterilized it with the uh, alcohol ready to go um, where was I I forgot anyways uh, I don't really want to mess up too much with the roots only some roots that I know it's bad like those there's nothing to it if you uh, squeeze it those are dead roots those are dead roots but see this is branching out so I'm gonna keep that this is dead roots yeah this whole thing is probably a dead roots but like I said, I don't really want to mess with it. See this part, this part right here has some, um, it's a st stiff, so it's probably still work. It branch out too, if you can tell. See that? See, see this one is branching out, so that's why. Whereas these in the middle, no, this one from here is dead. So I'm gonna cut this off. And uh, 
when you water you can tell it becomes either white or green if it's still good roots and those are all bad roots right here um, but if it's woody I still keep it now see those are there's no substantial feeling to it oh i'm not in a camera i'm sorry so those are not substantial anything to it see this so i'm gonna cut those off hopefully hopefully i got this the, the camera angle is kind of weird so i'm kind of hopefully i got most of the snipping part out but you get the idea see this is woody so i'm not gonna cut them this is green so i'm obviously cutting not cutting them this is woody so i'm not cutting them that's pretty much as much as i could go actually uh yeah this can go cat ears though usually is easier because you don't have to mess with like tiny tiny roots um sometimes i don't really touch them and then just uh, report them sometimes um i haven't been really reporting this year i i've been so so busy uh with my work so um and if you hear my kids screaming that's because uh number one they're i, I just cannot control them and number two uh I have no excuse. I don't know. I just can't. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, th these actually looks good. I don't know if it's good, or good or bad. It's pretty uh, substantial. I'm gonna leave it uh, in the middle. They're actually pretty good. I'm rather surprised how good those uh, roots are. Now, I'm gonna actually try to leave it like this and then put it in a pot, and then this will go in a this go in the middle so that the, this will go down and then it grows this way so and I can see the eye already here see that so yep so that's what I'm gonna do but uh, I'm going to uh, uh, spray with the hydrogen peroxide really quick be right back anyways um, so as some people who have scribes may know I have three kids and they are pretty uh, wild so yeah but then uh, my uh, daughter Violet won a Miss Aquafest contest so she's been like Donate, uh, going for donation and that kind of event and uh, um, occupies my wife so that means I have to watch the kids and all that stuff so yeah uh, and also my I'm a mailman and uh, my office is one of the busiest office in the region so yeah it's uh, pretty crazy and I'm not having enough time to fertilize or repot or whatever. I should have made a lot of my repotting video or mounting video or whatsoever, but I just can't because I'd rather repot or mount on the time I could do. Now, while it's sitting there and uh, working on, you know, whatever it is, here's what I'm trying to do. This is a two inch uh, mesh pot. It's gonna go here. And this is a holy, I guess, holy clay pot. And here's the support. I think I should have support. And uh, okay, I have to uh, take a little moment to check on my little one. I uh, started screaming. And I had no idea why he started screaming. Anyways, so here's that. So it's been sprayed 
for a while, so I'm not really sure why there's a zip, zip tie here, but uh, yeah. Yeah, so this is when you want to uh, repot when the roots are growing, right? So I'm gonna toss these and I'll be right back. All right, so now, like I said, this is what I'm planning to do. This is kind of an air pump, right? Uh, and like I said, I am going to put uh, lava rock instead of a peanuts because that will put the bottom heavier so it won't tip no matter what happens, right? I'll be right back. Okay, my little one is again screaming so I kind of forgot where I am. But anyways, where was I? Uh, <laughs> hopefully when I edit this all, it comes out as a good one piece. But anyways, I'm thinking like this and it's working. Uh, so the aircon, that's what I'm trying to do and put the lever rock and here's the support and I'm gonna uh, probably put the, uh, I'm gonna cut this zip tie because it doesn't do anything sitting here. I'll try to probably do, let's do this maybe. Yeah, and then I'm going to uh, tie them down here. And I'm gonna put those big charcoal underneath. Um, I was gonna use a big, large, um, big, large, large lava rock. No, why am I saying large uh, bark mix too? But unfortunately, it got wet and. Uh, that also is already smelling like mushrooms. So, decided not to use it. Now, there's a little hole in there. I'm trying to put something in. And I don't really want to hide the rhizome of the cattleyas in general. I'm trying to see it by taking this moss off. But, uh, because that's where the rot start. It seemed like it was in already, so I'm not too worried about it. And this is not a moss, this is a, what do you call it, a, a bark. So aeration should be good, so I'm not too worried about it. But yeah, here you go. I'm trying to put a little more inside like that. And uh, actually, I'm going to put like um, some Osmo coat. I haven't been having uh, good luck with time. It's been always been a battle for the last. Oh shoot, I just uh, took out the new, new roots tip. Shoot. Anyways, um, so what I'm going to do here is a little bit so that it goes the, the little one little media goes in there but anyways um i'm gonna put some osmo coat because i haven't been having uh enough time to uh fertilize orchids nowadays so i'll be right back all right, so first of all, I'm gonna Ooh, tie it all together. Kind of wanna lower it though, so to make sure the roots goes down. I'm not too worried, but I don't want it to be too tight, but like that. Oh, I need a one more zip tie. Okay, so here you go. There's one more. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put this right here in. There's a loop, little loop. Just like that, so that it doesn't go 
Oops, so it doesn't fall and it's too tight hmm, interesting yeah. hmm. okay here we go let me push this a little bit there you go and this one i need to cut them later but Yep, so it's kind of pulling this way. And this is not too tight actually, but stabilizing it. And there. Yep, it doesn't wobble. So this is perfect actually. I'm really happy about this. And the tag. So, voila, that's it. Um, I'm going to take this out and uh, cut these out so it won't uh, bother me and that's it well i almost forgot to put the osmo coat in i don't know just like that maybe what do you think all right so that's that and here's the final product i cut them off just like so and it's pretty stable so thank you for watching and uh you guys have a good day. Bye.